Greetings from the countryside, my friends, and the beast is down. I just wanted to show you what the plan was with the gearing, etc., because I've had a better idea. So the moment the wind hits the blades, which travels down the drive shaft, hits this gear, which is 26 tooth, okay, and that transfers the power via the saggy chain to an 18 tooth gear on the sprocket of the electric bike uh, motor hub. That's a three kilowatt, allegedly. It is pretty heavy, it's about 12 kilos. Uh, my plan is, I've got a 28 tooth gear here and an 18. And what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and figure a way that I can connect them uh, via drilling rather than welding. I'm not sure there's enough space, but we'll get to that in a minute. What that will mean is that there'll be a sprocket on here which will have two teeth on it. The smaller, the smaller tooth will go on the front side. And what that will mean is that when it's in low wind mode, this 18 tooth will be connected to the 18 tooth on the bike motor, which just doesn't give any overdrive ratio at all. It just means it's, when it hits 12 volts, uh, it means there, there should be a massive amount, a massive amount of momentum in the blades. So we'll, we should get a lot of power out of it at 12 volts. There is the question of how to handle that, which I am working on. But anyway, back to, so in low wind mode, the 18 tooth one would be there. And then to go into high wind mode, this is shifted along to there. And the bigger gear will then take its place, which will give a overdrive ratio of 1.55 to one, as opposed to 1.4 to one, as we are at the moment. I have got a bigger, I have got a 37 tooth one, but I'm just gonna try with this one at the moment. What we may have, we may have a situation where when this one is over here, it comes into contact with the uh, metal on the frame plate. If that's an issue, then it can use thick washers underneath the bearing, uh, underneath the bearing housing to lift that up a bit and then give us some clearance. But that's the plan. I'll show you these, they work. This worked a lot better for holding the motor in and uh, does require some more work to be optimal, but for a quick fix, that was perfect. So yeah, that's it on the gears. If I can drill that, I will. If not, I'll have to weld it and then we'll take it from there. But that hopefully, that will allow us to run two separate speeds without having to take the drive shaft off or anything, uh, which would be awesome. Unfortunately, it does mean that two new chains will be made up because this one won't fit on the, uh, I'll size it up before I start making any changes to it. But yeah, but that's the plan. Low wind mode for a week and a half and then hopefully we'll get some more wind and then we'll change it to the 28 tooth. What that should mean, the 28 tooth as opposed to the 26, is that it's spending quite a lot of time in 24 volt mode, sat there making five or 10 watts before it really gets going. So I'm hoping with that gear, we'll, we'll get up to 100 watts, and then obviously it'll push on massively. It's all about the wind speed, really. 15 to 20 mile an hour winds, this thing will be ripping along. But yeah, I'll let you know how I get on with that, and hopefully it'll be back up in a day or two and running with a different gearing system. Cheers. Okay, realistically, I'm not gonna have enough space to do exactly what I wanted to do. Right, I think I'm gonna to have to abandon the drilling plan simply because there's not enough space. You'll see I've marked the 18 tooth gear hub. The plan was I could drill three holes and then it would sit on top of there and then obviously three holes would have to be drilled in here. Uh, but we've got all this welding going on which I didn't fancy spending hours dealing with. What I'm gonna to have to do realistically I think because if you look at the uh, potential welding angle, I could probably make it. But what I'm going to do is I've got a 12 mil drill bit. So I'm going to drill some nice big, three nice big holes there. And then what that will give us, it's hard to visualize now, but that will give us a nice area and I'll just stick that with the weld. And then that should be good to go. So that's the plan. I, I did mark out it on here where the chain goes, just out of interest, to show you how little space there would be and why I couldn't drill it. Because I like the idea of drilling it, because I could then take this, <coughs> I could then take this and attach it to a different one. That was the plan. But if you look where everything's got to be, there ain't a lot of room going on in there. As you can see, this would be. Because you see this, the bit in between the chain and where I'll put that there to simulate 
this this one on here so where that would be and where the chain meets supposedly the space it takes up only leaves us with this much room which is about 10 mil but that would barely take a 6 mil bolt which isn't really good enough the plan was to use 8 mil bolts uh, I may think of another way around it but for now I think I'm just going to go with the three drill the three big holes and then that will give us enough to hit the world sweet so this is actually the drive shaft off the old wind turbine which is 25 mil as well uh, so I just want to show you that's how it's going to look uh, whoops something else I wanted to point out and somebody might mention it is the fact that when this gets taken off we'll only have one place to secure the gear to the drive shaft I think that'll be okay and I'm going to go with that because of the space limitations so when we take that off that's what it will look like uh, if there's more than enough space to then attach a uh, collar to the top so there'll be two in the assembly then that is very easy to do it's just very tricky very tricky welding underneath there uh, I mean I've got more chance hitting it with a stick than you wouldn't have a chance with a MIG uh, one consideration if we do put the other one on this one then they would have to line up perfectly otherwise it's pointless having it here it will be okay with one I've got a custom made allen key which is super strong uh, so yeah that's good to go so I'm using one of these drill bits from tool station uh, this one's had some use so I'm not going to use that until I have to I'm going to squirt it with this constantly and it's running at 180 rpm 260 sorry that's the lowest it'll go unfortunately so it's just a slow and steady I've got another bit of a block of wood supporting it, so... I was a bit overzealous with the drilling. Uh, I'm going to have to get the grinder and see. I'm not sure if it's uh, salvageable, but we'll go see.